Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch, whose flame is the imprisoned lightning, and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that twin cities frame. Keep, ancient lands, your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Translation. Welcome refugees and poor people from other countries. Regardless of your skin color, we will try to help you and give you a chance. Thank you, Lady Liberty. She has been accepted as a cornerstone of the U.S., accepted by everyone. She stands for the idea of America as a land of opportunity, an opportunity that all the people of the world are welcome to partake, people of all colors and creeds. She charges us to welcome the world's tired, poor, and huddled masses yearning to be free. She tells us what we ought to be and gives us a bulwark against prejudice, xenophobia, and selfishness. And these are all strong negative streaks in the American capitalist character. But because she is so accepted, unquestionably, Lady Liberty gives us a powerful tool to fight those things. She's here to remind us of our best selves.